Steve opens up cheap Chinese gear. Does it suck? No one knows. Well, he knows. Hey there, it's Steve the Redneck Preppy, your beacon on a fog shrouded night, here with yet another review. Yep, you guessed it, it's a survival kit. Now, if you've been paying attention or following along, uh, the f series first started uh, back in May of last year when we reviewed a $10 survival kit from the lovely city of Guangzhou or Shenzhen or whoever the hell knows where it came from. So this was the $10 survival kit. And if you remember correctly, wasn't too impressed by it. Fast forward some months later, I did the $20 survival kit. Now technically, uh, although I included this as part of the cheap Chinese outdoor gear review, this was actually kind of primarily made outside of China, although there are Chinese components. Anyway, if you remember this review, I was very unimpressed by this. So, I went out and I bought a $40 survival kit. So yes, there is a 400% difference in cost between these two. Is this going to be four times better? Let's find out. Okay, so the first thing you notice, it is a plastic case, kind of lockable. Uh, there is no gasket here. So that means it's probably not waterproof even if they claim it is, and I do believe that they actually claim it is waterproof. At best, this would be water resistant. And of course, because it's plastic, you can't use this to heat things. Not that you would want to. That foam would capture all sorts of bacteria. Anyway, enough yapping. Let's see what we got in here. All right, number one, an emergency blanket. 130 centimeters by 210 centimeters, so not quite a meter and a half wide and a little longer than two meters tall. I am 6'2", I'm about 190 centimeters tall, so this would actually cover me. Okay, so for emergency blanket, it's your standard Mylar blanket. There's nothing exciting about this except it's the James Brown collection, Showtime. If you're a James Brown fan, you'll get that reference. All right, super. I'll put this in the like category. Put it on this side. All right, coming up next. What do we got here? I like how everything is individually packed. Oh, it's a water bottle holder. You put this on your belt. And then water bottle lid and neck and all that stuff through here and carry it around with you. Of course this is only actually useful if you have a water bottle. So if you don't, this is of limited utility. And this doesn't actually aid in a survival situation. This just carries something for you, so not good. Alright, next up. Yeah. It's a fire starter of reasonable size. And it's even got a ruler on the uh, striker part for reasons. But you actually get a decent amount of uh, fire starter rod here. Well, that's good. Unlike uh, this, which had only a couple of matches essentially for fire starting, and this, which had a really short and thin rod for the fire starter. This you get a pretty good hunk, so definite like. Oh, what else we got here? Flashlight. And presumably different modes, so that's light. Bright. Uh, you're not seeing it on camera here because I've got the lights, but uh, this is actually pretty bright. This is a much better flashlight than uh, 
the little toy flashlight you got in this. Okay, good. Light. Um, a lot of people kind of like dismiss the idea of having a flashlight in a survival kit, but as a psychological boost, not to mention help you find things in the dark or see things in the dark, this is actually pretty good. And it, this utilizes a double A battery. I know because I actually put one in here, it does not come with one, so. Super. I think uh, it's listed at 200 lumens, which yeah, I think they're exaggerating the truth a little. Anyway, I like it. It's good. Oh, crap. Ah, my old bet no war. The survival card. As I said in the last video, known by many, many names, the wallet tool card, uh, the survival card, the saber card, and God knows what else. Oh. So this is the knife right here, and it's, uh, it's not really that sharp, but it's a lot sharper than the other four of these that I have. You got yourself a screwdriver here, a bottle opener, can opener, serrated blade, you got your hex, another hex wrench here, a butterfly wrench, which now for the third time, I have no clue what the hell this is, and an ancillary direction finder, this thing right here, which I don't know what the hell that's useful for, because uh, all my land nav exercises in the military, I don't ever recall using this. Yeah, so, <laughs> yoink bad. Oh, all right. Now uh, here's the first major disappointment of this. It's a pen. It's a very large pen. A tactical pen, so it's got a little glass breaker here. Well, it certainly is beefy, there's no question of that. But I'm going to be honest with you. One, I don't see any writing paper in here, so what's the point? And two, do you need to put something this big for writing in a survival kit? I mean, this is a little ludicrous. In the this survival kit, you got this little pencil thing, which really took up no room whatsoever. What am I supposed to do with this? Fight animals? <sighs> uh. Yeah, I mean, like, writing implements useful, or could be anyway, but this is just ludicrous. <coughs> See you later. Uh, what else we got here? Alright, you got yourself a whistle. It's a metal whistle, too, so it's not some cheap plastic thing. Let's see how it sounds. Not very good. Is this actually plastic? Can't tell. This might actually be plastic and not metal. Either way, it's a piece of shit. All right, a wire saw. All right, let's see. I, uh, a lot of people don't like wire saws. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're gonna cut stuff, it isn't the most ideal way of doing it, but if you don't have anything, it's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, see, I don't feel a cross cut on this wire. So that means when you do use this, this is, has a higher probability of getting stuck. You know, when you're halfway through, if you ever see these things being demonstrated, you'll see sometimes they get stuck. That's because some of these don't have a cross cut, you know, so. Yeah, this is kind of a piece of crap. The one that came in this kit actually was pretty good. It was thicker and it seemed to have a cross cut pattern, if I recall correctly. However, that said, it is better than nothing. Well, from the Department of Redundancy, Redundancy Department, another little flashlight. Um, not sure why they included this if they already gave you this flashlight here. 
I mean, it's certainly bright enough. It's better than that piece of crap that came in this kit, but I don't see the need for it. Uh, maybe I'll put it at the end of my keychain on my uh, car keys. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, yoink. That's where it went. All right, we're down. Oh, and by the way, there was 15 items in here, so I'm getting to the end. Okay, here's a knife. I can already tell I'm going to be unimpressed by this, mostly because it is a folding knife. Uh, I'm uh, on record saying that knives and survival kits should be full tang. Yeah, there's a little bit of play here, so you know that this thing ain't gonna ain't built for rough. Holy crap! That thing is a dough. Oh, okay. Well, I'll cut the paper. Oh, okay. Well, still, it isn't all that sharp. Yeah. Uh, you got a little carabiner thing here, so you can hook it on something. That's kind of actually kind of useful. However, that said, the knife is a piece of crap, so. Yoink. And last but not least, notice what's not in here. The bane of my existence. Button compasses. Instead, no, it's not a pocket watch. You actually get a real compass. Or do you? Oh, this is ghastly. Okay, so you get kind of a real compass. Whoops, sorry. Nudge the camera there. So you get kind of a real compass, and it is pointing north. That is north. Okay. Okay, well, it's always going north. Well, that's a good thing. It's not liquid filled or anything. It looks like it's just purely on uh, some kind of bearing here. Okay, so this works. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, not exactly the sign of quality. Uh, this, is n this would not be confused with a high-end compass, but having said that, it's better than a button compass. I do wish it was liquid filled, um, preferably oil or something. But having said that, would this survive a fall or anything like that? Probably not. So, I don't know, I'm distrustful of it in general, but you know what, I'm gonna put it on the like pile just cause it's not a button compass. So there you go, there's your 15 in one survival kit for $40. Um, half crap, half eh. Uh, how does it address the three immediate priorities of survival? Shelter, water, food. Well, for shelter, in theory you have this emergency blanket. And with a wire saw, in theory, you could cut some branches and fashion a lean-to. Okay, so your shelter is kind of taken care of. Uh, for water, nothing. There's nothing here that addresses water. Uh, no iodine pills, no uh, those straws that you can suck the water out of and it filters the bad things. Nothing, there's nothing here. Weirdly, this doesn't even address food. Like in most survival kits, uh, you'll find um, fish hooks, fish line, you know, or snare wire, things like this. I, this doesn't even have anything of that kind in here, uh, which is bizarre. Now, granted, you know, you put everything back in here, you actually have room to put more stuff. So you could put fishing hooks and fish line and snare wire and paracord, who knows, a bunch of stuff. This is actually big enough to put more stuff in here. So that's kind of good, but it doesn't come with it out of the box, which is really disappointing. So I'm obviously going to have to consider this box a fail. I mean, there's, I mean, like the knife in theory, you could use it. You know, as long as you're not too rough on it. 
you know, so maybe I'm being a bit harsh there. You know, the whistle doesn't do much. There's no other signaling device other than the whistle. You know, they didn't even think to put a signal mirror in here. Like, you know, a signal mirror could have took the place of this. Boom, gone. This thing could literally be replaced by anything in the world and it would be of more use. A pack of matches. The pen. This is a lot of stuff here that, you know, takes up room that, you know, you could put other things in here. So, you know what, I'll move the knife over here just to be kind. Having said that though, um, it's better than this, which wasn't hard because this thing was essentially a novelty kit. And it's better than this, if only because the components here are of higher quality than this. So, I'll give it one thumb up out of three. So, it's definitely a failure. Um, just because it's, like I said, it's missing some key things. You know what? You could buy this kit, get rid of the pen, and just put a pencil and some paper in there. Uh, and automatically you've made it better. You can get yourself a real whistle, like a Fox, Fox 40 whistle, and get rid of this thing. And then put a real knife. Get some iodine pills. Get some uh, the water drinking straw things. Life straw, I think they're called. Uh, get yourself um, some paracord, snare wire, uh, thread, uh, fishing hooks, fishing line, and you can put it all in here. And it'll actually make a decent kit. You know, and you know, sugar, bouillon cubes, a whole bunch of this stuff. So you can actually kind of make this into a better kit than it is. But out of the box, I can't recommend this. This is missing way too much stuff. So failure one thumb. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, what's next? I don't know. The next price point is 80 or or $100. I don't know if I'm willing to go that far, but who knows? We'll see. Anyway, if you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Either way, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you do with this? Or where would you go to get something better? Uh, additionally, in the description below you'll find links to both the Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, as always, I hope you have a great day. If you go out into the wilderness, make sure you're properly equipped. Take care. Bye. Lost up in no man's land of the Northwest Territories. They were lost up in no man's land, the Martin Hartwell story.